I've worn many hats in my 40 years as a student, dishwasher, and then IT specialist. Um, nothing fit. You know, you only get one shot on this planet, and I was losing my focus. That's, I needed something to be passionate about, something, you know, a reason to get up, a reason to, uh, to live. After Dad died, it came to me. I need to follow in his footsteps. And this is the old barn. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm sorry. This is Dad's old studio. It's where he spent uh, his last days working. And I haven't been here since. Whew. Whoa. This takes me back. This takes me way back. Mm. We were all involved with Dad's art. A real family affair, you know. Uh, it was his only job. I don't remember him selling much, really. But we got by. Um, I, I mean, I can't, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm excited. It's going to be tough. I, I have uh, no formal training. I have no art supplies, uh, no talent. Um, it's going to be challenging. But that it's like Dad always said, the smallest brush stroke can change the world. I don't want to look back in 20 years and say, I didn't try. He's been so obsessed about the stuff that Dad said. You know, like like the brush stroke and all that stuff. Um, honestly, Dad said a lot of things. The smallest brush stroke. The secret is, you got to find the right canvas. A small canvas, a really small canvas. Imagine a world despite race, color, creed, Everybody has a grain of rice with their name on it. Can that change the world? Uh, well, I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Our uh, annual town festival is coming up in uh, three months, and people come from all over for this thing. And, and I've been thinking, if you want to change the world, you got to start in your own backyard. My dad was the greatest. He always had time for me. I, I just can't even describe. I, I don't want his words to die with him. The smallest brush stroke can change the world. I know I can do it, Dad. I know I can. Now I have a plan, because it would be naive to think I can go right to rice. So I want to start with uh, bigger things first and then work my way down. What I'm finding here is the banana it just brings its own set of challenges. It's, it's smoother than the cantaloupe, but it's, um, it can get squishy on you. Oh. Morning, fellas. Come on in. Um, starting lemons today, so. Chaz has always, always been intense dedicated and intense. Oh. This happened today? Is he okay? I'm just so tired. I want to stop, you know? I mean, how is this going to change the world? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I think sometimes you've got to hit rock bottom. This is the day. I'm very excited. From there, the only direction is up. And today, I start on the rice. 
It's been a long, long, hard day. Five, six pounds of rice, maybe. But I didn't get discouraged, and the patience paid off. I did it. Sorry. Um, but I, uh, you're apparently supposed to register for booth at this festival, and uh, I didn't know that, so I'll just have to go a couple of blocks uh, away. Um, and, uh, it'll still be near the festival. I think it'll look good on camera, so we'll, we'll just do that. So, where do I go from here? Uh, I don't know. I really don't. But here I am, changing the world one small brush stroke at a time. Thanks, Dad.